and welcome to Crime and Justice. Today we're looking at police body cam from one year earlier where they was talking to Colt Gray about a, something that was written, posted on a Discord page. We'll also be looking at what the mother has to say and a one student that is determined to return back to that school. Oh, yeah, Cole, he's oh. my older son. How old is he? He's 13. Does he play a lot of video games and stuff? Yeah, he does. I like all the time. Is he here right now? Yeah. You think it's something he, he might have? I damn sure want to know. Can you talk to him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now, look, he going to get all red face when you talk to him. Just calm all right let me ask you this do you have any, do you have weapons in the house i do are they accessible to him they are i mean there's nothing nothing loaded but they are we yeah. do, we actually we do a lot of shooting we do a lot of deer hunting he shot his first deer this year you know so like i'm pretty much in shock to be honest with you like i don't know i i don't know anything about him yeah. saying like that i'm gonna be mad as hell if he did and then all the guns will go away yeah. and they won't be accessible to him. You know, we, I'm trying to be honest with you, I'm trying to teach him about firearms and safety and how to do it all and get him in the outdoors. It's kind of a little bit of a shock. So in whatever y'all are telling him, please instill in him that what, if this is whatever, where this has come from, it's no joke. Yeah. Like it's no joke. But we wouldn't be here if it was. No, I know. I know. And I'm telling you right now, we talk about it quite a bit. All the school shootings, things that happen. Yeah. All scary. Hey, are you getting picked on at school? He is. He's getting picked on at school. And is everything okay? That's why I keep going up there. Explain everything to you. Is that, is that something about school? Shooting up a school. Did, yeah. did you say something about school shooting? I just told him. I don't know what. Uh, maybe they misheard somebody else. I don't remember to say that. You never ever said. No, I swear. I swear. Do you do you use uh, Discord? Discord? Yes, sir. When's the last time you used it? That's been for him. Have you heard anybody on Discord when you were using it say something like that? Remember? Like at that time? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I ever had anybody that. Never. And I, I mean, I'm not trying to get anybody hemmed up, but like, this is some serious stuff. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, he knows how serious it is, trust me. Tell me he didn't. Yeah. Tell me he can't remember anything like that. And yeah. I, you know, I take it at your word. Okay. If you look me in the eye and you tell me that's what you're telling me, I got no choice but to take it at your word right now. But, yes, but like I was telling your dad, we find out otherwise, man, it's a different story. Okay? It's a really different story. Right, so that was the interview by his father with the with Colt Gray and his father. The guns were accessible to him. What? What? This was a year before this mass shooting occurred. The guns were accessible to him. At that time, I believe he would have been, what, 30? Did you say 30? Can't be sure. Well, huh? it would have been 13, so. 13! And had... Oh, look, I'll just get this rifle out the, the cabinet. Oh, look, I'll just get this gun. No. No. Those guns should have been locked up from day one. Full stop. And I agree for going after the parents because the parent, the father, was at fault by not having those guns locked up in a secure cabinet or safe or something like that. Mother of Georgia shooting suspect Colt Gray called Apalachi High School before attack, sister said. A woman whose son is charged with murdering teachers and fellow students in the US state of Georgia called the school before the attack, according to her sister. Marcy Gray, the mother of suspected shooter, Colt Gray, 14, reportedly warned a counsellor at Arpalachi High School about an extreme emergency. 
The mother of a teenage child was shooting two students and two teachers at a Georgia high school called the school that morning, warning about an extreme emergency, according to a family member. Marcia Gray, the mother of suspected shooter, Colt Gray, said she told the counsellor at Palafti High School in the town of Wanda to find her son immediately, according to Miss Gray's sister. Annie Brown said Miss Gray texted her saying she spoke with the school counsellor and warned staff to have an extreme emergency before the killing. Officials say Colt shot and killed students Christian Angulo and Mason, let him say his name, both 14, 14, a whole life ahead of them, gone. And teachers Richard Asping out 39 and Christine Irimi 53. Eight of the students and a teacher were injured, seven, seven of them shot and are expected to recover. Miss Brown provided screenshots of a text exchange to Washington Post, which also reported that a call log from the family shared phone plan showed a call was made to the school at 9.50 a.m. The shooting started at 10.20 a.m. That's 13 minutes before <laughs> anything happened. The school knew something was wrong. Miss Gray expressed remorse for the pain and suffering that the victims and their families are going through. A school administrator went to Colt's mathematics class but that morning, but he was not in the room. Did they go and look anywhere else? Did they ask the teacher where he was? Oh, I gave them a slip to go to the restroom. Did they go and check the restroom? Did they go and check anywhere else? Like uh, where the lockers are kept, where maybe they get lunch or something like that did they check anywhere else for him right they had 30 minutes 30 minutes the mother of a classmate of cold gray said the shooting could have been prevented yes it could have the school failed them that they could have prevented these deaths and they didn't Miss Sayara's daughter, Leela, told reporters on the day of the shooting that, administer, that administrators appeared to be looking for Colt Gray before the gunfire began. My father told the news outlet that Marcy, the mother of Marcy Gray, got a text from her son on Wednesday saying he was sorry. His grandmother, Deborah Palamus, met with a school counsellor to request help. The boy starts with therapist Kamara and Miss Palamas writing a text to Miss Brown after that meeting. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable what is going on. Openly leaving weapons open for a child to get to. What about the ammunition? If you're teaching your son about uh, shooting and the safety of a rifle or a gun, then A, he knows how to handle a gun, B, he knows how to load a gun. So, did you have the ammunition lo locked up? Did you? No. No. So, I bet he didn't. If he didn't have the guns locked up, why would he have the ammunition locked up? Oh, because he trusts his son. He trusts. Even though he knew his son was having problems at school, and yet, okay, they moved school. He's only been at the school two days. Two days, two days when this happened. So he didn't even get to know anyone really in two days. He didn't get to know anyone where he could come out and say, well, I was being bullied. In two days, he didn't get to know anyone. No one got to know you in two days. All I knew is he was a new lad. Oh, have you seen that new lad that started to die? He's in my maths group. Have you seen that new lad that... Yeah, it was in my history group. Whatever. He wasn't there long enough for anyone to really get to know him. So you can't use that fact, oh, he's been bullied at school. He's only been there two days. It's the second day he was there that he did this. 
brave teen who survived Georgia shooting, school shooting, cult graves and rampage, fails to return to campus. I'm going back to my normal life. Good on you, sweetheart. Good on you. But what upsets me most is how she got shot. A brave teen teenager who was shot in the chest, wrist and arm in the Appalachian High School shooting plans to return to campus is released from hospital hospital today after undergoing emergency surgery to reconstruct her wrist, which was shot when her classmate shot an accused woman, Colt Gray, opened fire. This is a young girl who plays the flute. Well, I'm just hoping it. You know what I mean? You need your hands to play the flute. So she's going to have to have some, a lot of therapy, a lot of work done on her wrists and arms. There she is in the hospital bed. That's that vile creature. You should be locked up for life. But I'm sure there's a law in the US where they can't be locked up for life. They can only, they, well, they can. They can get life in prison, but it has to have parole where then after, say, 20 years or 25 years, he can be released. I think that is how it works. I don't know if you like that in this state. I don't know. The mother said, I asked her, Natalie, do you want to go change schools? We can probably change schools, sweetie. And she said, no, no, mum, I want to go back to school. I want to go back to the band. I want to go back to my normal life. Go down here. Natalie has been recovering in hospital since Wednesday morning when the legs shoot a great open fire in an algebra class. Her father, Doug, told Fox News that one bullet went through her arm, one across the chest, and the most damning shot is to her wrist. Her wrist, which she plays the flute. Look at her. She needs both hands, and when you use your fingers, you're also using your wrists and your arms. You know what I mean? on her. In a GoFundMe raise, raise, go for me, raising money from Natalie's continued treatment, a friend of the family said the extensive surgery was required to save part of her arm and hand and included a total reconstruction of her wrist. Wow. The doctors and nurses have been amazing and loving and we know that the road ahead from Natalie and her family is going to be long. The positivity of Natalie is beyond any words could express. Despite the situation, every day at the hospital we've seen a smile in her face. Positively, she is amazing. Beautiful young girl. I hope she can get the full movement back in her wrist and her hands and her fingers. To play that flute again. I really do. Be heartbreaking for her if she couldn't. Right. This was just a lot, uh, an update on this case so far. Uh, I haven't heard anything from about any new court hearings or anything, but as soon as I do, I will put a video out. I might even go live. So, until then, Stay safe.